What's the dirt versus company man? Um, company man is Justin. I can't remember his last name, and that yeah. is not Justin Hunt. Justin Hunt, thank you. And that is not that was not journalistic of me to not have that already down packed. Um, but no, you've chosen the side. Um, all right, so <laughs> <laughs> he's chosen the side. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, here we go. All right, oh, so God. another friendship. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's just. This is slightly old, but let's just, just recap and bring everybody up to speed. You probably already know. So, what's the dirt is a YouTube channel um, that has been breaking down um, all the beefs, the re- all the uh, the Kendrick versus uh, Drake deep dive videos, breaking down every single lyric, bringing us back history, references, and everything. Mm -hmm. He's blown up, and he blew up before. Like, his channel obviously exploded again, but before he even started dropping these, Matt was already at about, or What's the Dirt was already at about a hundred and something thousand subscribers. So it's not Mm -hmm. like he hit this, he started doing these videos, and then they got there. He was doing videos of, like, why DJ Vlad mm-hmm. and Joe Budden don't like each other. Like, he had been already giving us these hip-hop um, Dense stories. content. D- he, yeah. he, had his, he already had his light. It just got Ex- a lot of involvement it got a, on top of exactly. it. Exactly. So that's not new for him, right? Um, he's been doing this. <coughs> the infamous Family Matters. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless you. Family Matters. That was actually a cough, which is crazy. It sounded like both. Yeah, it did. Um, the Family <laughs> Matters ones dropped. It looks like it's on track to be one of the biggest ones that he had. It's also a really long video, but that song was long, and he does extensive amount of research. There too was moments. Some might say it's too much. Some might say such as Justin Hunt, um, aka the Company Man. There was moment. So the key moments that, let's say, black culture or hip hop culture felt like, uh, uh, what's the dirt went too far mm-hmm. is when he said he tracked. Drake's genealogy, Drake's father's genealogy, pretty much to prove that he's like actually African American. Yeah. But the reason there's a, obviously a reason for that because in the record that was one of the things that like Drake was kind of levying against. I mean, Kendrick Lamar was levying against Drake, him not being black. You can't say nigga no more. Things yeah. of that nature, mm. which brings us to the next point that a lot of people, black culture or American culture or whatever, had an issue with. Or Kendrick lovers. It, 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 Kendrick lovers is that. Um, Matt, uh, what's the dirt said? Um, Drake used the N word thirty seven times, representing every year of his life. In reference to every year of breath he's breathed. Yes. So, um, Justin Hunt, mm-hmm. aka the Company Man, uh, made a video and was not happy about that. Pretty much was saying like, "Bro, this shit is disgusting. This is tone deaf. Like, why? Like, what are you doing? Essentially, mm-hmm. right? And this is previously." Company man had bigged him up because he liked his 616 video breakdown. So this went from a, I really appreciate this guy. He is one of the best out there to, I really don't like th- what he did in this video. Yeah. Company man to yeah. what's the dirt. Company, Company man, man to what's the dirt. To what's the word. We're really like pre, like just give me all the quick yeah, synopsis. Yeah, just kind of but bringing it up because it's, is, yeah. Company man, I don't know how I feel about it. Company man. Yeah. He it's took a, a very... As he would say, a journalistic approach, a very and apparently tactic. he is a legendary journalist. And I was just about to speak to that because I first caught wind of who he was like years ago in high school because he was doing voiceovers for Hip Hop DX. Mm-hmm. Oh, gotcha. He was doing a lot of voiceovers for Hip Hop DX, and like he would. Uh, I, I don't know. So how maybe I, just, I have heard his voice. Now. You've definitely heard his voice. Before okay, gotcha. Because if you watch that channel during a certain time period, he was on. He was narrating a lot of them. But uh, he's always been a professional, and he's always. Not been too keen on white people talking about black shit. Got gotcha. Which that's yeah, that's been in the history before, and I could even tell when he was breaking or reacting to the uh, what's the dirt video, mm-hmm. the way that he was even talking about dirt. Yeah, it, we call him that. Yeah, we yeah, call him dirt. Call him dirt. Yep, yeah, yep, dirt for sure. The way he was talking about dirt, it was pretty muddy. Yeah, it was very. <laughs> it was like he couldn't even take anything in the breakdown serious, just yeah. from a journalistic standpoint, because he didn't see his, his sources weren't in MLA format at the end of the video. Mm-hmm. But uh, nah, I concur, nigga. It was just a very like honest opinion, and Dirt's response it kind of just it kind of showed his hand. Yeah. In terms of like, we was even talking about this in a car, completely different context. Yeah. But like, once you forget you're playing the game, mm-hmm. 
that's when you really lose, regardless mm-hmm. of if you lost already. Yeah. You feel me? Like, if you're playing basketball, you're getting mad at a tech call. Yeah. It's like, you're forgetting it's a game. Right. And, and what's and the that, dirt forgot? And that's where the real, that's where this heat come from. He forgot the terrain he was really playing in. Right. Mm-hmm. And this is what, you know, y'all going to see it. But yeah. Yeah. So he yeah. had that moment where he looked in the lake and was like, oh, shit, I'm white. But yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm a white guy in, yeah. a, in a black place. But also, it's almost like, what's the dirt? Like, he genuinely had no context. Because we also got to remember, what's the dirt? Uh, is Canadian. Canadian. He's Canadian. He's Canadian. Which is important. And so, yeah. and like, very uh, important. It's, it's kind of, important. Yeah. And should we give him grace for every, that? This is, this is where it starts for real. Like, what's the dirt? realized what he was doing. Oh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of the story. Yeah. But what's the dirt just had that moment to where he realized what a lot of people want Adam to like finally come up and say is that yes. I yeah. got comfortable saying things, talking about things that I don't have the most knowledge on. I can't properly contextualize it. Right. And I was playing in that mud pit. Right. I also, I partly agree with company, but the other side is like, when are we gonna like move past that? Move. When are we gonna just, I guess, be accepting of white people in the culture? Yeah. Like, cause it, I don't want to be like a, I don't want to feel like a bully. Yeah. At a certain point, yeah. like just because they're white, don't mean their perspective or you know the angle at which they come at a situation doesn't matter. Right. Just because they wasn't, you know. Fucking watching N one mixtapes, right, right, and, right. You know, or, or they or, might have been, or or or, or don't mm. know what a hot comb smells right. like. And, stove, yeah. you know? There was certain times, which I can't think of specifically in the yeah. company band video, where I felt like he was kind of going for the low hanging fruit yeah. of like, all right, you're just a white dude. Yes, yeah, you yeah, obviously yeah. have no idea what you're talking about. But what's the dirt gave him that ammo? He you did. know what I mean? But yeah, and so like just to kind of give you guys a little bit more context outside of what's the, outside of Company Man dropping him not being satisfied and uh, he was unhappy with how Matt did his um, Family Matters freestyle and Matt got offended and he lost himself and did a twelve minute upload to Twitter mm-hmm. where he just went in on um, he went in on uh, on everybody pretty much. So this is one of those stories where it's like I'm actually I'm really 50-50 on both sides, right? Matt or what's the dirt lashed out because everybody Justin caught everything, right? Mm-hmm. Justin caught all his all those comments that Matt might get in his um Matt is what's the dirt, but all those comments that he might get that are negative towards him and that hate that you get whether you're doing something good or positive, it's always an onslaught of hate. The first person that like lines themselves up on the plate, you know, batter up like I want to take it on, and he's like, "Fuck it, I'm giving, I'm going all the way in." Mm. Because Justin Hunt's video wasn't, it was, it wasn't, cra- it wasn't, it was educational. It was educational. And it wasn't crazy. There's still moments where I feel like, okay, we really need to have this conversation, like about the what's the culture and protecting the culture because it's like yeah you're holding it at that high regard but let's can we step can we take a step back and what the, what is the hip-hop culture for real like what are we like you're holding it to a standard that are we <coughs> is that really the standard that it actually is right now like that's how you feel about it yeah. but that but that's not that's it's obvious that's not the standard that's held with the majority of the world right or or what's or what's being pushed to us so there's an element of there's an element of that that I think just overall we're not going to be able to because certain, certain people won't be able to get past or see past that part of mm-hmm. it. But then there's also I understand um, Matt. I can understand tweaking and losing yourself, right? Because like on a nigga, you know, after getting all that hate and the first person that tees up. And what's also needs to be uh, kind of stressed and important is I think one of the main reasons that. Uh, what's the dirt went so hard it was doing it was going so hard some of the things that he said in his response which we'll play those is he's a Carlton uh, Justin said uh, he looks like he doesn't say the n-word or something yeah, along he said, those lines. I, yeah he said I haven't said the n-word and he was like bro you look I, I can tell like bro we can tell yeah. and like stuff like that like um, which is funny which is it was hilarious that is so, hilarious it was for hilarious. a white man who studies rap lyrics hilarious. Like, I can tell this black guy doesn't say nigga yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking funny so it's, it's always funny because it's like 
if I'm just like, if I'm watching, like, what's the jerk's response? To me, it's not that crazy. I can see yeah. where it's offensive, but I'm like, some of this shit's funny. Also, and I get the vein that it's coming in. I don't think it's the Carlton line is fighting words. Like I, it, all of a sudden, it got twisted to that. And but it's like he only gets he only is going to get hit with that stigma because he is a white man telling that to a black person. You yes, know what I mean? And and then like we can't shoot him that much bail. And even what you were saying earlier about how you can see why he reacted this emotionally. Right. You can understand it. It's but a mistake, though. You don't regardless. excuse it, though. You I know don't. What I mean? No, 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 no. It's definitely a mistake. Because he he got very. He literally showed why this is happening. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, yeah, he yeah. called him Carlton Banks. Didn't know. Didn't even understand like the connotation of what that means when right. you call a black dude that. Yes. Right. And suffered the consequences. The underlying tone. Pretty much. And we're also asking white people to do something that they've never really had to do, and that's code switch. Yeah. Or essentially be a good boy when you're working in the office. Yeah. And that's something that, you know, black people, niggas, we kind of go through every day, regardless of like where we work, wherever mm -hmm. we work at. Unless you work at that's like true. a that's tattoo parlor. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, that's true. Right. That's but the fact. Or for the most shop. part, white people aren't like, all right, I got to step into this world and be this and be different. Yeah. different. That's yeah. a fact. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. That's a good point. White people go through that, but it's not. It's not, not the same. It's, it's not. The same. not this is, we have to code switch way more. Way more. If you even know. The, if you even recognize when you're in the areas that you need to code switch at, you get what I, mean? I get what you're saying. And yeah, it's yeah, the, for sure. It's the. It's tricky. Yeah. See, I fuck, see, like I fuck with what's the dirt, right? Mm -hmm. So, but I can't say that he was wrong, and I, he knows he's wrong. I think his apology video was good as well too. It was actually like heartfelt or whatever, like that, and I think it was honest. Um, but I do want to. You don't think he was wrong. No, I did. I said. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, did I say I didn't think he, he said was you can't say he's wrong? You, you, yeah. you said you can't say he's wrong. I think you're so empathetic. Like Sorry, but I just wanted to. I'm empathetic, but he was wrong. Gotcha. Yeah, you, let, yeah, me, let, you me, let me make, make it clear. Because at let me first, make it clear. I thought yeah. you were trying to excuse what he was doing. No, 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 no. no. I think he. I think he did fly because, off the handle. Yeah. I think he did fly off the handle. And I think, I think he could have still clapped back, but yes, he was in an emotional state. Nothing was measured. He was just going. He was emotional. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not mad at him just responding to somebody critiquing him. It's just it wasn't measured, and he fell right into the worst because pit. Because he you know responded what I mean? as if, like, he wasn't a white dude. Yes. Which is the problem. Yeah. It's the, the problem. reason he's which being called yeah. out. It's yeah, like the reason yeah. he's being called which, out. Which was the, the whole point of Justin's video. Point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's the thing is, like, him just looking in the mirror and understanding his whiteness. 100%. So how mm -hmm. far can a white person go in this? Culture now. See, that's a whole nother. If I was white, that's, that's a separate conversation. But you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, yeah, I was, yeah. But this, it's, it's part of that. They go. No, it really you know is. I mean? They go yeah. as far as they are respected by niggas. And in order to achieve respect by niggas, you have to be the crazy. That's man. you're not crazy, but it's it's only been one man to do it. Yeah, because that's the thing. So another point. A couple before before we move on, let's watch. Let's watch. Uh, Mac Miller got respect, right? The apology video. Not the apology. So many different angles to hit this. It really is. It, I mean, it really is. Because <laughs> uh, because outside of this altercation, I really want to... There's like the Curtis King video. So Matt deleted his response video off of Twitter. It was about 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. The only place you're really going to be able to find it it's probably more places, but I'd say the one with the most views is Curtis King TV. It's going to be in reaction channels. It's going to be reaction channel, and it's Curtis King TV. And um, oh. I will say I had a really good time watching Curtis's reaction mm. because as I'm watching Curtis's re Curtis's reaction, this nigga is I, okay. I really like this nigga's channel, and it's because I didn't agree with everything he said, but in this breakdown, this nigga had like I'm like. There's like three separate conversations that I want to have just off of because he articulates himself well enough to where I'm like, my first time watching him, I thought this was such a good video for me to watch him for the first time because not only am I seeing him defend his friend who's Justin Hunt, mm -hmm. but I'm also getting an idea of where he views things in culture, how he views things like academics. Um, he named it, um, he has this thing where he names it the academics... What did he call it? He I'm going to make that my own. I'm going to make that its own segment. Its own segment it's, but yeah, it's a... Uh, what the fuck was it called? It was like... Essentially, he's like the the other company man. That's what I got from it. <laughs> like, he had the same sentiments that company, company man had, 
without all the journalistic integrity mm-hmm. to kind of I, back not, it up. But he's also when I was watching him, it, yeah, go ahead. I was I felt the sentiment of a lot of people. You know okay. what I mean? I was yeah. like, I you could just watch him and it counts for probably like a hundred other thousand niggas. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was a good yeah. watch for sure, but the main consensus is the main consensus is like the nigga Matt was stripping. The nigga Matt was stripping and he and he knows that himself. Academics logic. That's academics what it was. logic, yeah. Academics logic. He has a problem with academics logic, and he even he gave us great examples. That's that's gonna be its own segment, and I think we, we I want to start there. But let's watch a little bit of Matt's response, just so we don't leave this segment without people hearing him kind of flying off the handle a little bit. Go to one seventeen forty three. Oh no, no, that's a problem with academics. Um, not there. Let's go oh, to uh, the long problem with white. Yeah, long problem with YouTube. White people speaking in black people white people speaking on black people on youtube i think no nope. i take that back i take that back i'm nope. sorry i'm sorry 34 minutes okay that's what okay, 34 yeah, minutes that's, that's where i want to start shout out to curtis king though man he was talking about his kids and shit. he take care of his family you take care of his kids hell yeah that's that good take care of i fuck with i really fuck with curtis king i really like this uh yeah he's a music guy i, I really like this video too. I really like how he did it he even brought up himself like you know me being a mulatto you know, woo de woo woo it's hard mm. for me too. He has so many, there's like, even though it's like, I'm watching this video, I was watching, the reason I like this video so much is because I'm watching it so I can hear Matt's video because it's deleted off of Twitter, so I didn't hear yeah. it. Mm. But as I'm listening to this nigga speak, I'm like, damn, this nigga's giving me three topics for the show right now. Mm. Just yeah. like off of just like the things that he's saying that I have responses for, and I'm like, I get what you're saying, but then I'm like, you also got to remember this side of it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you got to defend your friend. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I fuck with uh, dirt. So, um, but yeah. One more to context, because I don't want to seem like I'm interrupting all his points, whatever points those are. Mind you, this is only a few days, if not a day after. I think it's two days after. I got. I got to make sure. I mean, I'm not sure about that. It's a few days after he drops this video, and it seems like it's already trending to be one of his biggest videos on his channel. You would think, from that vantage point, that you wouldn't even have time to address the things going on here. I think I even saw an update where he said something that he was having issues with the copyright, so he still had to get things right with the video. My thing is, why did you have time for Justin? What was it that Justin said that warranted a 12 minute response like this? Did it hit too close to home? What's the dirt? I'm just merely asking questions. I want to know because I know when I got a video that's trending, I already expect everybody and their mama going to say everything about me and my mama. <laughs> it's just what comes with the territory. But it seems to be very interesting that you made the time for Justin in the way that you've made it. And I, I, I'm sorry, sir. I don't know you, sir. But it feels like it's exuding a lot of arrogance all the way from the jump talking about, you know, this ain't even worth being on my YouTube channel. And, da, 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 and I, uh, hey, let's okay, just actually boss. look at my analytics. So what it, what it, I think to answer that question, I can't speak for dirt, but I think it 100 percent did hit close to home. And the reason I think mm. it hit close to home is because dirt is still an up and coming channel. He's still early in this. Right. And I can speak for myself in this, too. When you get a response from somebody, because Dirt did say that Justin Hunt is somebody that he looked up to. And mm. he did. And he, journalism-wise, mm. right? Mm. So when you, when you, when somebody has inspired you to go into a lane or they pioneered a lane that you're now in, and there's somebody that you essentially looked up to in this craft, you normally, their criticism is going to hurt the most. Because you put him on a pedestal. You put him on mm-hmm. a pedestal slightly. So when the first time he heard from Justin Hunt, it was all praise and all whatever. So the first time it was negative, it's like, yes, I'm supposed to be taking this as part of the game. But God damn, bro. Like, I fuck with this dude. That's and he's also, talking shit about that's me. That's also you know? his ignorance. But yeah, yeah, I was about to say, but that's when you kind of go back and like kind of self-evaluate. Self, re- self-regulate. Yeah, self-regulate. Yeah. Whatever, review, whatever, yeah. you know. But... Because if this is somebody whose opinion you respect, mm-hmm. and they yep. bid you up before, right. and so you took that. So the criticism has to be taken with the same level of humility. Well, th- but this is what I'm saying. That's easy for all of us to say. I'll say for myself, too. It's easy for all of us to say, but the first time it happens, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to feel for real. 
That, the, that's all I'm saying. Especially if you think you're in the right because your first thought is... That's all I'm saying. How do so, you not see what I'm yes, doing? Yes, obviously, you're not in an emotional state. This is an easy, logical conversation to have. Yeah. If I should take the positive as well as I take the negative, right? But once it's happening and it's the first time it's happening mm -hmm. and it's from the person that you had reverence for, you don't know what you're going to do sometimes. It's a lot and of, it might be flying off the handle like what like, like what's like what's the dirt did. I feel you if if the OG in this situation gave criticism before getting bigged up. Mm -hmm. But the fact that like something in the past, we had a relationship in the past where I did something that you appreciated, you found it was good mm -hmm. quality. Mm -hmm. You you should be able to be able to discern because like that that first hurdle has already been jumped over. I think I can establish that when we talk about what my work, you're coming from a place of like wanting to help. And it's because you big me up before. So if you're telling me something bad now, I'm not going to just. Well, I'm talking about me personally because, you know, I can't speak it, for dirt. I mm -hmm. think it's it goes to show you like dirt's insolence, like the fact that he took it that personal. Like you said, like it's a certain type of humility you got to move with, especially when it's somebody that you look up to. Mm. You Especially when they bigged you up first, too. Because I can understand yeah. that point mm -hmm. from, like, your first time communicating with your North Star, mm -hmm. it being negative. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, all right, well, you might get a little jumpy. And but since you already established that kind of foundation, you should be able it, to... He's trying to be a Mr. And if Miyagi. you really look up to him, you should know where he's coming from, and you should instantly get what he's saying. Like, I feel like Dirt understood what he was saying. He just didn't want to accept it. And which is why he went on to later which apologize. Is, exactly. Because he realized, you know, after the emotions settle because and logic is in. I, was think, I don't think the order, I, personally, I don't think the order matters. The order of what? The order oh, of okay. getting big up for, I big personally, up criticism, yeah. I don't think it matters. Personally, when you're, I, it's so weird to say, but like when you're North Star, we'll just use that. Maybe we'll name the episode that, you're North, North, North Star. Mm. But uh, the first time criticism Comes to I didn't even look up to Elliot. Elliot Elliot had me fucking emotionally pissed off, like, and I didn't even I don't even look up to Elliot Wilson. You know I, what I'm saying? I think something. But that it comes was the first time phone. somebody of notoriety said something. He didn't say nothing, but he posted us, and it was like a, a clip of us shitting on him. So he fed us to he he fed us to his sharks. You yeah, right? You yeah. know what I mean? So like, in my mind, I'm like, man, it's fucked up. Like. These dudes, you know, in my mind, it's like I went, I went to all the places that I didn't think I was gonna go. You know what but I'm saying? That's he also, also wrong. Yeah, it's you also. I wrong. know, but this is what I'm saying. I know it's wrong. It's easy to have the logical yeah. common sense of you're not supposed to emotionally react, but you don't know what you're gonna do until it happens to you. But it's even times too when like you're playing in a game where you're starting at a deficit in terms for what's the dirt playing mm -hmm. in a black culture game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So he has to move hadn't very... Been, his white card hadn't been used against him yet until this until moment. Until this moment. Right. It was so probably in comments. He obviously did something wrong. But yeah, this, in comments, it was probably in comments, exactly. but this was the big face that exactly. actually had some credibility behind it exactly. to really be something to, worth fighting against. Because exactly. academics, um, I, I couldn't find the clip, but academics used to big him up. Used to. Still big him up. Still does, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You know, it's like, yo, shout out to What's the Dirt, my Toronto brethren, you know what I mean? He's my brother and shit. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, I guess What's the Dirt just got real comfortable, you feel me? He was like, big act, fuck with me. I don't really care about these other niggas. Mm -hmm. I think that's what we're going to get him. I think that's what we're going to get him to next, but go ahead, go ahead. I was about to say, he just knew so much about black culture and different facets of it that he thought yeah. he knew it all. He thought he understood. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I was going to say. There were so many comments that was like, yo, you can come to the cookout, the cookout, the cookout. Mm -hmm. This whole cookout shit, it's like a thing. It's like black heaven for Some white Some of people. that response can already come from how right you already think you are, too. You know, within the way yeah. you approached it. Especially Which is because evidence. you felt like, you know what I'm saying? You felt like you did this with integrity already. Yeah. And it's like, how could you're you right, not right, see? Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, how right. could you not see? So you're looking at your neck and that's you where you... See? Yeah, so that's, that's where thing. it's coming from. It's like, yes. how could you not see? How do you not understand where I'm at right now? How do you not... How do you? Because if if that's it, I get it. I, I get it. Personally. I don't. I don't understand it because it's like that's like you, like you're a boxer and you're facing like your Muhammad Ali. But that's where your humility and he hits comes you, in. You go like, what the what fuck? The, yeah. that, no, 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 oh no, my no, God, no, he's no. me. <laughs> like that's what it is. Like you know what game you're playing. You should accept it and move accordingly. Because all was the dirt had to go. All, all he had to do was go. All that is true. I, right. I understand, Justin. I just think. I feel you. When it happens to you. Of course. When of it course, happens to you. But 
I've seen too many examples to do that. But it has to be, I don't know. What's the dirt knew he was wrong, though? Yeah, yeah, and that's, yeah, that's, part, yeah. that's the biggest part of the problem, that you knew you was wrong. Yeah. So that means you knew you was wrong when you was doing it, nigga. Yeah, you just didn't want to admit it. it's not like the dirt don't have a conscience. I mean, he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah. cool and shit. I'm just speaking from the creator side exactly. of... Uh, I'm just speaking from the side of the person that's and been hustling to get to a spot. That's creator all. to and creator. Yeah, that's all. That's all. That's the only thing I'm speaking on. Because you don't want to potentially, like, shoot yourself in the leg, or you know, have somebody big up in the industry, you know, mm-hmm. shoot you down and shit. But I don't know, man. Everybody he, has to go through it's it. A, yeah, everybody. Everybody has, everybody has to have their moment. He everybody has that. I moment. feel like I've had mine. I feel like I've had mine on a smaller scale from people that I didn't give a fuck about mm-hmm. to where this moment for me, I feel like I just resonated a lot with this moment in general, just because this last year I feel like I've learned so much about dealing with these people mm-hmm. yeah. and getting to such a happy place where I don't give a fuck about none of them anymore. You know what I mean? Personally, because uh because there's a so, so like we're gonna get into like the arrogance. In the academics effect as well, too. We're going to mm-hmm. get to that next. Because uh, I think there's also a certain aspect of that. Let's do. Let's jump over to that now. 